Hi, it's Fun Day Monday, time for a new art lesson. We are going to draw a rainbow today. And there's some very important things you need to know when you make a rainbow. It has to come in the correct order, rainbow order. And there is a word that you can remember the rainbow order. It's Roy G. Biv. You might have heard people say that. There's actually some silly little songs that I play in class, but the rainbow order is Roy G. Biv. So when you draw your rainbow, it has to be red on top, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use Seesaw to draw a rainbow right on a picture of our school. Pretty cool. Here we go. In Seesaw, you will see that I have attached a photo of Sterling Morton. And you're gonna use these tools at the bottom to draw. Here I'm trying the pencil tool, and that's probably a little bit too thin. So I'm gonna take the marker tool. And when we draw, remember the rainbow order colors are Roy G. Biv, so it's red on top. And I'm gonna draw the red part of the rainbow. It's okay that I'm touching the building because I could clean it up a little bit later. Every time I lift up my finger, it's gonna get darker and darker and darker. The second color is orange. So here I am going and doing some orange. And every time I pick up my finger, it'll get darker and darker. Next color is yellow. Same steps. I'm not being super neat. It's okay that I'm covering up the building because I could clean it up later. I'm just trying to draw a cool rainbow. After yellow comes green. And then comes blue. Indigo is kind of a combination between blue and purple. So you could kind of try to make whatever you want. I'm gonna, and then put some purple in. Now when I'm finished, I'm gonna tap the eraser and clean up the building. See how I'm just wiping my finger across the building and across the trees to make it look a little bit neater so it looks like the rainbow is behind the building. You can draw your rainbow wherever, however you want, as long as it's in rainbow order. I'm actually going to um, now take my tools and I could use any size tool that I want and I'm going to add some more details to this picture. You could experiment with the markers below in different sizes, and I'm going to add a few little flowers in front of Sterling Morton because I think it'll look prettier and the daffodils out there aren't quite bl bloomed. So here I'm just using little teeny dots and I'm gonna make it look like there's daffodils blooming. I use the real small tool. Uh, maybe you can add a little bit of orange because daffodils kind of come in yellows and oranges. And maybe I will add some color to the tree because this tree will look nicer. Mm, I'm not so sure I like the way the tree looks with the rainbow, so I could use the eraser tool to erase a little bit around the tree, fix it up a little, play with it. Make it look however you want. And you can add your own things, you can draw your own things. Make it yours so that you can brighten up Sterling Morton any way that you want. When you're finished, we're going to add a page. So I tapped add a page. And now we're gonna do a second artwork. And what I would like you to do is take a picture of your house. So you're gonna want your mom or dad to go outside with you. Don't just go outside without asking them. And you're gonna take the iPad outside and you are going to take a photo of your house. If you click the little camera tool over here, you will get the camera. You have to allow access. So here I am walking in my front yard, going to the house and getting a picture so that I could draw a rainbow in my yard. Obviously, you're going to want to get some sky when you take this picture because the rainbow will be in the sky. So there's my picture of the house. I'm going to stretch it out. 
make it a little bigger. And then I am going to start drawing on it as well. And I'm gonna go through the steps that I just did in drawing the rainbow in the correct rainbow order. Again, you can draw it wherever you want. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And you're gonna go through and decorate both pages. So there it is. That's how we do our rainbow. I can't wait to see a picture of a rainbow over our school and over your home. I think your parents will really like seeing that picture too. When you're finished with your, both your rainbows, just send it to me. And if you want to, you could write me a message or record me a little message because I do love hearing your voice and seeing your cute smiling faces. And just know that I am missing you so much and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.